Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran and in today's video we'll be talking about top 5 best PvP range classes in patch 8.2. A lot of you guys enjoyed watching me talk about top 5 melee, so in this video we'll do exactly the same thing as we did for the melee. Take a look at some of the more popular arena based PvP specs, the specs that are played at the top tier. Now as per usual, let me give you my regular spiel about the specs and the fact that you should ultimately play whatever you like. This video is just going to point out at the graphs that we have right now for patch 8.2. Although I don't think they're going to change that much with certain specs on this list getting a nice buff very soon. This list is going to show off some of the top tier specs played currently at really high MMR for arenas. And that's the metric we'll be using to identify the most popular ranged PvP specs. If your spec that you play thus ranged is not on this list, technically all specs are viable in World of Warcraft and you can make whatever work with a specific comp with a specific playstyle. This video is not to get you guys to want to drop your current spec and pick up these new ones but rather point out the top tier ones. In the end you should just play whatever you like because in the end you're the one paying the subscription for the game, you're the one enjoying it and whatever spec you like to play whether in PvE or PvP you should play whatever you enjoy. So without further ado, let's dive into the top 5 best specs within arenas for PvP in patch 8.2. Off the bat, we're gonna talk about Fire Mages, and these guys have been one of the top tier specs for all of BFA so far, and I very much doubt that this is gonna change. Have you played a Fire Mage yet? If you haven't, you definitely should give it a go. One of the more mobile classes in the game, Mages are extremely mobile, and while they are very much a glass cannon, the mobility helps them stave off the inevitable demise that a melee might bring. Being a glass cannon, fire mages are extremely good at putting out great damage. Especially with all the changes with 8.2 with the essence system and the brand new gear, fire mages are able to output even more damage than ever before. I know that everybody knows mages for their greater pyroblasts and while those are really really powerful and getting greater pyroblasts doesn't help you secure those kills, even without greater pyros, with the current build fire mages are able to check out pyroblasts all over the place pumping big numbers. What's also great about fire mages is the fact they have multiple schools of cast, as in fire, frost and arcane, and even if you get locked out on trying to polymorph an enemy, it doesn't stop you from being able to put out damage, vice versa, if for whatever reason you get locked out on fire where you can't do damage to the enemy, you could follow up with some roots as well as polymorph to control the enemy. Out of all the classes on this list, fire mages are some of the specs that are some of the squishiest. You are a cloth wearer so there's only so much you can do, but mages excel at controlling your enemy, as in rooting it, freezing it, slowing it or polymorphing it to keep it away from you. And if enemies get too close, you can always Dragon's Breath for safety, to either interrupt an enemy or simply disorient them. Fire Mages overall are pretty insane in the damage output and in terms of overall playability as a caster, I think they probably make some of the better DPS casters for a new player to pick up, particularly with the Fire Mage. Of course we also gotta talk about Destro Warlocks. They have been incredible and one of the most powerful DPS dealers at range. Some of the tankiest DPS dealers I've ever seen. There's a lot of clothies out there that simply fall apart as soon as a melee gets on them and they generally get shredded like paper. Warlocks on the other hand are able to sustain big amounts of damage through great cooldowns, CC the living hell out of your enemy, not even letting them sometimes take even a glance at you, and put out some incredible damage output. Now all three warlocks are really good at that, but destruction I say takes the cake. The amount of burst damage that a Destro can do with Chaos Bolts when they get ramped up with their Infernal is explosive, but even the sustained damage of a free cast in Destro Warlock in a battleground or arena is really difficult for some classes to mitigate. They also have a lot of CC in terms of an interrupt with their pet, so even if the Warlock is locked out or CC'd, the pet can still cause an interrupt. You can also steal enemies buffs, you can go for a spell reflect talent that allows you to reflect spells against you. You have a stun with a short cast, a fear with a short cast, you can horror multiple targets, particularly as Destro with the Havoc build. And just like fire mages, they have multiple school of cast, fire, shadow and chaos. 
If you're casting a Chaos Bolt and you get interrupted, you're locked out of everything else. However, if you're trying to spam fear at an enemy or spam him shadow damage with incinerates and the land and interrupt on that spell of skull, you can still turn around and swap to the other one. Let's say you got interrupted on shadow, blast him with fire damage, or instead just load up a massive Chaos Bolt to slap him right in the face. Desert Warlocks are really good at standing still and turreting their enemies. Mobility is not their strong suit, but that's going to be about the biggest weakness this spec has. Desert Warlocks are great for anybody who wants to stand their ground and spam out, turret out a bunch of Chaos Bolts as a powerful ranged caster. Next we have the Elemental Shaman, and I feel like Elemental Shamans are so fun, they probably have some of the most fun abilities and unique playstyle. Let's first not beat around the bush, the fantasy behind an elemental shaman slinging around meatballs of lava and lightning bolts all over the place, lassoing enemies in lightning, lasso spreading fire shocks and summoning powerful elementals, I mean there's no better class fantasy than a shaman. But in terms of PvP they are pretty incredible, the amount of CC they have and the amount of utility they bring to a team is incredible. Between a ranged interrupt that's on a very short cooldown, passive slow, ghost wolf to be able to escape enemies, grounding totem to stop spells, tremor totem to get allies out of fears, dropping totems like stun totem and earthbind to slow enemies down, being able to provide a sky fury totem for the rest of the ranged classes in order to beef up the crit damage they output. And of course we just mentioned this but lightning lasso is one of the most potent CCs that's ever been added into the game. They're also fairly durable, mostly because they're one of the casters on this list that doesn't wear cloth. Cloth is just way too shreddable, so they are going for mail in order to be more durable. That combined with very short cooldowns on a lot of their defenses, as well as Ghost Wolf in order to escape their enemies, makes them actually quite tanky. And if a shaman is ever in a situation where they actually are not getting barraged by damage, they can even output some self-healing, making them a very powerful hybrid to bring into arenas. On top of it, shamans don't really have a lot of negatives, they actually are quite versatile in a lot of areas. Like again, they also have multiple schools of magic which definitely benefits them in a lot of these casters. If anything, shamans are not really good for consistent damage, rather they like to front load a lot of their damage and get some big bursts, but in terms of sustaining damage to whittle an enemy down, they're not really particularly good at unless you really spec super hard into a very sustained build. So if you're someone who wants to be constant pressuring enemies, Shaman might not be for you, but it's still a very powerful spec and its damage for burst should definitely not be ignored. Then we gotta talk about Shadow Priests. They are incredible. The amount of damage a Shadow Priest can bring into an arena or a battleground allows them to specialize in RBGs, 2v2s, and even 3v3s. If you wanted a glass cannon, Shadow Priest should be your go-to. If you really, and I really mean you wanna be really squishy, but you wanna pump insane amounts of damage, the spec might just be for you. Shadow Priests are awesome, and from the beginning of BFA, I knew they were gonna be a top tier pick mostly because of the amount of CC they bring between a fear, a psychic horror if you talent into it which is a 4 second stun on a 30 second cooldown, silence which is baseline but can also be reduced through talents, and mind control, these guys bring a lot of crowd control on a single target. They also have a variety of cell heals as well as utility spells very similar to an elemental shaman where Shadow Priest can bring something like Void Shift to swap health with an ally whether they're in trouble or an ally is in trouble, Leap of Faith to grip an ally close to safety, putting up Power Ward Shield on themselves and allies for a little bit extra healing, if they need to they can spam some Shadow Men's which are quite a heal, not super amazing but still a solid heal, and mass dispel allies and enemies out of either invulnerabilities or allies out of CC. And you do all that utility while pumping some great shadow damage over time, as well as setting up for big burst. Shadow Priest, unlike other casters on this list, are very much stuck to casting shadow spells. They don't really have a lot of variety. They have some spells outside of shadow, but with being primarily a shadow priest casting shadow magic, being able to be interrupted on a heal, for example, might put you in a situation where you can't use your disperse. Or if you're just trying to get some dot damage out, a melee can keep interrupting some of your basic casts. So while Shadow Priests are very much a cannon, they are a glass cannon. They can be suppressed and they can be interrupted. Plus, they're also very squishy. 
one of the least mobile classes of ranged in the game and they really do take quite a lot of damage so if you like living on the edge of insanity and want to put up some great damage whether it's damage over time great control great burst on a single target you can play shadow priest in any way you want to while squishy and i really do want to emphasize really squishy they are a very solid range class for people that like to pump dps Finally on this list, we have to put in Boomkins. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably were expecting for me to say something like Frost Mage, but because I already have a mage on the list, it feels like it's just a little bit too much. I like mages, they're awesome, but I really don't want to put too many. Frost and Fire can almost kind of be interchangeable, which is why on this list we're gonna show off Balanced Druid. Yes, this is the highest possible rated last class on this list for top tier ranged for arenas. Balanced Druids offer unique things that none of the other classes really do. The only thing that Balanced Druids are very similar to in other classes, uh, like a lot of the guys on this list, is they have multiple schools of cast, Nature and Arcane. But the utility they bring is very unique. Being able to entangle root enemies and spam that entangle root as much as they wanna, maybe even be able to entangle a whole enemy team and drop in a solar beam down on, let's say, a healer that will perma silence them as long as they're standing inside the beam. Bring something that other classes simply do not have. For example, other classes may have a polymorph or a fear that's spammable, but also can be broken out with damage. Boomkins bring Cyclone, which puts the enemy in a CC that they can't break out of. Being a hybrid class that you are, Boomkins are actually able to put up quite a little bit of healing, especially if the spec into the restoration affinity that allows them certain restoration spells to be used in arena. And of course there's incarnation which is your one big one shot button so boomkins will always have the burst whenever you need it you also bring other utilities like moonkin aura which can allow allies to have a stacking crit as long as boomkins are able to press star surge they're also quite mobile if you talent into specific talents so it's almost like boomkins are a little bit of everything that every other class brings they have the utility but not quite as amazing as that of an elemental shaman they have the burst, but not quite maybe as insane and rampy and really just deliberating as a Destro Warlock. They also have the mobility that a Shadow Priest doesn't have, and they have quite the amount of heals that some of the other hybrids do have. But they're not perfect, of course. There's a couple of different things that Boomkins do not have, like a reliable slow, for example. A lot of other range classes might take this for granted, because all of them come with some sort of baked-in slow in one ability or another. But Boomkins simply don't have a slow, which is a little bit weird when you're trying to keep a melee away from you. Also, they're kind of squishy. They're not super squishy like a Shadow Priest, but they do rely on cooldowns and self-healing in order to get themselves mitigated. They don't have quite the mobility to blink away from an enemy or tank up the damage as a Destra. They are quite good at taking damage, but they're not quite amazing. In most cases, if you see a Balanced Druid pop it into bear form just to try to survive the damage, that's really what you can do is just pop it into bear form and kind of hope for the best. You don't really have a lot of options. So once a bear is on a back foot, it is kind of difficult to get back on a front foot. But if you could sit back as a Balanced Druid in the very back of a BG, blasting big damage, spreading your dots, making sunfire, rune fire, rain, slapping around star surges left and right, balanced druids can dominate the damage in just about any battleground or even an arena. A very unique range class that I thought should be worth on this list. And that's gonna be everything for this video. I know that you guys are probably gonna be like, but where are the hunters? Hunters are not terrible but out of the three specs of hunter with marksman beastmaster and survival survival ends up being quite some of the better melee spec out of the three specs of a hunter but the beast mastery and marksman while great in battlegrounds don't really see nearly as much play in bgs so hunters are great they actually are really good and combined with rogues they make for some great comps Hell, even retribution paladins love playing with hunters but this is why you didn't see them on this list because they simply didn't show up at that high of a list on the arena scales but it doesn't even matter you guys should play whatever spec you like but in case you wanted to level a brand new spec and you want to get into pvp maybe get into some serious pvp well hopefully this video gave you guys a bit of an idea Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this list? And how would you change up this list if you had control of it? Thank you all so much for checking out this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and find it entertaining because that is the main purpose of this video. Thank you all and I'll see all of you in another one.